hi 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 welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Nerago Ionga here thank you for always always coming back to my channel so to the new subscribers thank you so much for picking this channel welcome to the faith family and to my returning subscribers thank you for always always coming back it means so much to me and to the notification gang today all i want to say is that may god bless you and i mean this from the bottom of my heart may god bless you thank you for always coming back to my channel as you can read by the video title today i'm going to talk about how to rekindle your lost fire as children of god it's this journey is not a rehearsed thing it's a reality and it has its up and downs and sometimes you are lit you know you are on fire sometimes you feel like your fire is quenched and yeah it's easy for you to start judging yourself because you're not the way you used to be but i just want to remind you that it's a journey and we are not going to uh, uh i mean expect to be on fire all the time but also when you realize that we are not where we used to be we must um try our level best to just ask god and the holy spirit to restore that fire so in today's video i'm just going to share uh, some of the things that i do each and every time i find myself in that place of dryness the first thing that i do i'm going to be looking down because i made notes just so i don't forget the first thing that you must do or that i do it's like i listen to old worship songs especially songs that i used to listen to when i just first got saved because these songs bring remembrance or memories of that first love you know your first love your first encounter with christ it, and it really helps the second step tell your story tell your story share with somebody else uh mm -hmm. how you got saved the things you used to do when you got saved like us we never miss prayer meeting we used to go at one of my friend's room and we just be there share our revelations and read our bibles and just worship and we pray together those are the things that we used to do when we just got saved and yeah just share your story tell it to somebody when you say that it rekindles that spark you know that um fire again number three be honest with god just tell god that father god this is how i feel i feel dry i don't want to feel like this and just revive me restore my fire again be honest with yourself and also be honest with god i mean he is your father he knows it but he's also waiting for you to just go there and be honest with him he's your daddy number four intentionally set time aside for praise and worship since you are at a dry place this might be hard but force yourself as the holy spirit to help you you know remember philippians 4 13 it says i can do all things through christ so even when you don't feel like it be intentional about setting time aside for praise and worship because i realize that each and every time i make a dry place when i praise god like something happens on the inside that fire is start to burn again so um i set time aside for praise and worship and um even if you don't feel like it i mean remember you're at the dry place and you 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 won't really feel like it you know but just force yourself i mean ask the holy spirit to help you he's your helper and remember what philippians 4 13 says you know and number five is that um embark on a fast again it is likely to be hard i mean you're at the dry place like but embark on a fast like embark on a fast even if it's just for few hours go on a fast and pray for your fire to come back again you know ask the holy spirit to help you like he is your helper so i just want to tell you that as a child of god i know this journey is tough i know it's not a rehearsed thing i know we find ourselves at dry places but remember never allow yourself to get comfortable when it comes to seeking God. Never allow yourself to get to a place whereby you do things by the way. You see you're at a dry place and you'll be like, oh, it's okay, no. Never allow yourself to do that. I mean, Revelation 2, 
verse 1 to 5. I like what it says because it says, you don't love me the love that you first love me. So God wants us to continue seeking him. God wants us to continue loving him. And God wants us to move from glory to glory, from strength to strength, from revelation to revelation. And God doesn't want us to seek because God does not seek. God is not a camper. He wants us to continue knowing him and knowing him daily. Getting your revelation daily, knowing him more and more daily. Okay? So may the God and faithful God help us to always be hungry and desperate for him. Amen. So that is all that I wanted to share in today's video because I know it's easy for us to also really get into a dry place and whereby your fire is really just on its knees. And I just really hope this video was informative and helpful so yes so from me Nelago Ilonga that is all that I wanted to share today and please before you go don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and please share my video share my videos with your loved ones thank you so much bye I'll see you guys in my next video